Okay, folks, look, I'm back at it again with another slow cooker recipe. This one right here is another crowd favorite. Today, we make it beef and broccoli. Let's go. Okay, so look, we're just gonna skim right over these ingredients. Don't forget the full ingredient list down with your instructions and the amounts will be on my website, smokingthegrillerwithab.com. This is gonna be the star and I'm gonna give you guys a pro tip. I put this in the freezer so that my meat can get hard, right? This is top sirloin. I got about two pounds, right? So that's what that is right there. Look, I'm gonna use fresh ginger, garlic cloves, and then we got these ingredients here. Now, I have a lot of videos that say, listen, a lot of the things that I use, especially when it comes to Asian food, you guys might only make it every now and then, but if you buy the ingredients, they'll last and we can just keep making these, you know, different types of dishes like Kong Pao and things of that nature. Listen, I'm not finna over talk it. We finna get right into it, right? So the first thing I'm gonna do is I got a clean crock pot. I'm finna just go ahead and drop in. Instead of me mincing these, I'm gonna go ahead and just mash them, get them to release. Look at that right there. Yes, sir. We'll just do all of our garlic cloves. I'm gonna add some beef broth to the game. Right, so what I'm gonna do is put in about a cup. So we start right there. Okay, now we got a little brown sugar to add to this. We're gonna do it the right way, folks. I'm gonna go ahead and just get a lot, kind of like pack it in, you know what I mean? The way we're supposed to. If it heaps a little bit, that's okay. I'm not gonna run nothing no sharp edge across that. So we drop that in. Oh, there we go. All right, and then we're gonna add a little soy. Now I want you guys to pay attention to this right here. Listen, I always like to use less sodium. In some, in, in some instances, I do use the regular, so I keep both on hand, but this is normally my go-to. All right, and then we're gonna do about the same thing with our oyster sauce, right? So. All right, so this is what we're gonna do. I'm gonna take my chili sauce, and I'm gonna probably put in Maybe just two tablespoons, that'll do it. Sometimes I put in three, but they were like a little bit big, so that'll work. And I'll do a couple tablespoons of the rice vinegar. There we go. And maybe a tablespoon of the toasted sesame seed. This right here, oh man, that smells great. Okay. So notice it got a small spout. This stuff right here is strong, you know what I mean? So you don't need a whole lot in there. You know what I mean, but about a tablespoon. We gotta get some in there, All right? Then I'll come with my dry ingredients and then do my fresh ginger, you know what I mean? I can tell you this, if you want to, you can use, uh, you know, powdered gin ginger, you know what I mean? Uh, that works, but since I got, I keep it fresh. Certain things that I just keep fresh because I cook so much, right? So we put that over there. Uh, what did I say? Oh. Onion powder. Don't need a whole lot of this. Then for our cornstarch, we just go ahead and sprinkle in about three tablespoons. It's okay if you put a little bit more in there, even if they're heaping. Don't trip. Everybody like to have a, so a thick sauce anyway, right? And now for my fresh ginger, we're gonna go ahead and get about a tablespoon of this out here. So let me go ahead and grate. And then for those of you guys that don't know, like even like how a saw works, it only works in one direction, right? So I see a lot of people, we going back and forth. When I pull back, I'm light on it. So listen, it's, it's this way, that's the way it works. You know what I mean? So I'm gonna have to, you know what I mean? Just work this for a minute, keep turning it until I can get about a tablespoon on the back end. Okay, so now I'm gonna take my whisk, you know, and just whisk this together, right? But another one of the things that I like about, you know, these type of recipes, when I say one pot, we're not making it into nothing else, we're making everything right here, right? So, once you get it all together, you know what I mean, as you cook it, it will thicken up, and I'll show you what we do at the end if it don't come out as thick as you guys would like for it to be. Remember, I say, if you put them in the uh, freezer, and at least give them 30 to 45 minutes, they become a little bit rigid, right? That's what you want. So what I want to do is, I want to cut them, you know, some thin strips. You see how they cut? Look, that's what we want to have, right? So I'll just cut it down like that. The thinner you are, the better. You know what I mean? That makes for not so chewy. You know what I mean? Cause don't forget, we putting this in the crock pot, right? Since it doesn't have a bone, I'm gonna go ahead and cut it like this. And now we'll go. I'm not gonna bore you guys. I'm just finna cut this down just like that. Right? And then when I'm done, I'll take some of these and I'll just cut it however you want to. I know I cut that on the slant. You, it doesn't, look, this part right here is totally up to you. 
You can cut them straight or whatever. You can leave them long. I'm going to leave some long. You know, some will be cut. But let me go ahead and cut these. And then the best practice would be to cut these across the grain. Right? So let me just continue this on. And then I'll show you the next part. Okay, so once I got them cut down, look, this is what I want to have. I don't mind them being that long. You know what I mean? They're going to be nice and soft. They'll tear anyway. You know, I left some of the fat on here, what little bit it was on here. You guys can see some of the marbling. That's some of the flavor that's going to mix. Right, so we'll just take it and we just add it to it. All right. Now, I'm going to take my spoon. You just want to get it all covered. You know what I mean? At least coat it. You know? Look at that right there. And that's what you want to have. See that? You can see how that the garlic clothes kind of like break up. But this is what you want to have. Now, I'm going to go ahead and put this lid on here. We're not going to add no, uh, no broccoli to it. Not as of yet. I'm going to put this back in the refrigerator. I just wanted to bring this out so you guys can see it. Right? So let me put this top on. I'm going to set it for about three to four hours on low. You know what I mean? Because look, right about at three hours, that's when I go ahead and do the rest. So I'm going to see you guys at three hours. Let me just set it right now. It's on low. All right, so let me just bring this over here by you guys so you guys can see it. You know what I mean? I got as much as I could. I mean, you could be here, if you ask me, you can be here for a while or you have to take some out, then try to strain it. But we want to leave some of it in there, right? And the reason being, you want to have something to steam. Now, when I say steam, look, we'll keep this like this, and we're probably going to go for about another 30 minutes, you know? So this is what we have right now. We can cook this down. I could add a little slurry to it just to thicken it up to the thickness that we want to, but I'm looking at this right here. We're not going to need no uh, slurry. We're just going to put this on the stove, keep stirring it on super low, and I cook some of that, you know, wet uh, liquid out. All right, so now I'm going to take my florets. You saw how it is inside of here, right? I'm just gonna add some of this. Now look, this is key. Let me say this before I even put this in there. Do not stir it up, because all we want to do right now is we just want to steam it. This one right here, I can cut back just a little bit. But you want them to be more so like that, you know? So I'm gonna say it takes about 40 minutes, you know what I mean, uh, to the desired softness that you guys like, you know? This is what you want to have. Look, now there's still a lot of heat in here and it's still cooking, right? So I'm going to put my top back on. I'm going to let the timer do the rest. We're not going to stir it. We're going to leave it just the way you see it. And we're going to come back in about 45 minutes. I have not taken the top off of this. Now listen, I'm a, I told you guys 45 minutes. 45 minutes is really the way I like to do it. Uh, how can I say it? I like my broccoli to be steamed, but I like it to be a little bit more so on the soft side, right? So I'm going to go ahead and take this off. Look at that. I never, ever take my top off. Now, I don't know if I can show you guys. I can pull one of these off like that, and if I, ah, this is the way I like it, folks. This right here put a smile on my face. Cheers. All right, so I just went to the stove. I cooked this down. You guys can just see. Look, if you want it to be thicker, like I said, you guys can go ahead and put some, uh, what is that? You can put a little, I'll say just a, a, a for this right here, I'm gonna say just a teaspoon of uh, cornstarch and a teaspoon of, uh, you know, cold water, right? Let me go ahead and get me a spatula because I want to get all of this. Now, if you guys look down in here, now we have a little bit of sauce that was left in here because we couldn't get it all or we didn't get it all. You know what I mean? So now I'll just add this to it, right? And one more thing, you don't want it to be super, super soft on your broccoli. You know why? Because we got to do a little combine. All right, so now I'll take it here. And we'll just go over the top just like that. And that there, folks, is that broccoli beef, man. Okay, folks, so you guys let me know down in the comment section below. You know what I mean? I'm trying to keep up with these comments, you know, but I really want to know what you guys think about this one right here. Hey, super easy to make. You know what I mean? Uh, just listen, I'm not finna talk, over talking or nothing like that. We finna just get in here and get some. The broccoli is perfect. Now, 
this right here is fire. Listen, you don't have to go down there, run down there, look at them trays and say, okay, I want to get beef and broccoli. Now you guys know how to make it on your own. You know what I mean? Super simple to make, big with the family. Everybody's going to love it, I promise you. And if you like that beef and you like that bro broccoli and ain't never had this, listen, you're missing out. Don't forget, talk to me down in the uh, comment section below. Let me know what you would do and add it. Come back and tell me how you, what you thought about it after you made the recipe and all of that. Now, if you're new to my channel, let me just take this time to say thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, smash that subscribe button and tell everybody out here. There's a channel out here to simplifying these recipes and taking a mystery out of cooking. This time, y'all gonna have to look at these green onions because you know what? I'm out. Peace.